Hi, my name is Bill Kiley, and I appreciate the opportunity to share a recollection of a friend of mine with you this morning. Back in 1972, I was a young patrolman in the police academy with the Suffolk County Police Department. And one of our instructors was a black gentleman who was much older than the other instructors that we had. The grapevine in the academy within a very short period informed all of us that uh, uh, he was a retired sergeant major from the army. He had a military career before he became a member of the police department. And over those five months of training, I got to have conversation with him periodically as we spoke about the army. Well, 10 years later, I was a sergeant and assigned as the commanding officer of our community relations unit. And one of the officers assigned there was uh, my former instructor, um, Harold Desverney. And I was delighted to have the opportunity to work with Harold. So over the next few years, as we worked together, I got to know a lot about him. And at our first Christmas party, I met his wife, Anne, um, and she and I and my wife and Harold uh, got along very well. Anne was from Germany and was fortunate to have survived World War II. And it was in Germany, Harold was assigned there at the end of the war and after the war. And that's where he met Anne and they fell in love and decided to get married. But the protocol at that time in the military was that Harold had to get the approval of his chain of command in order to marry a German national. So they went through all of that and got the approval, got married. And sometime later, Harold received the transfer back to the States with the army. And being a German national had to go to get a passport. So she went to the local Burgemeister and uh, went through all of the necessary steps. Harold was with her. When the Burgemeister was finished, he handed Anne a piece of paper and he said to her, uh, on this paper are a list of the states in the US that you are not permitted to go into. And he looked at Harold and he said, and it's because you married him, you're not permitted in those states. Harold told me that he wanted to go over the desk after the guy, but he didn't because he knew the guy was speaking the truth and he was doing the right thing for Anne. Well, they were transferred back to the States and they, uh, Anne began her, began her new life in the new country. Uh, and uh, they uh, experienced what it was like to be an interracial couple in the United States. Harold shared many things with me over the years, things about life before he met Anne and, and their life together and, and some of the challenges that they faced as an interracial couple. Anne said to me one day that there are many things that each of them had experienced that their ethnic peers would not have experienced had they not also been in an interracial marriage. I learned an awful lot from both of them. Harold Desverney, a retired detective, retired Sergeant Major, a wonderful educator, mentor and friend. I miss him and may he rest in peace. Thank you for letting me share my recollection of Harold with you during this Black History Month.